So that's it, a classic run, London to Sydney, accomplished. Here we are by the Harbour Bridge. Lots of deserts, lots of roads, lots of mountains, high plains, plateaus, autoplanos, lots of people, lots of riding. It's been great. So there we are, um, journey accomplished. kind of weird science fiction movie where you're the only person left on earth and you're just traveling around and you can go wherever you want to you can go into shops and things and you could drive a car and when it runs out of petrol you just get another one you know sometimes i've had dreams like this i'm sure we all had and it, and, it, and it's oh this is crazy it's not right Uh, I don't think it's that hard for the rider when he or she goes off on a big journey at all. I think it's for all the people left behind, the wives, the husbands, the partners, all that sort of thing, the kids, the dogs. You know, you, when you leave, you leave a big hole. Uh, but that hole gets filled by life as it just continues its way, it progresses, and after a while you wonder whether it still needs you when you get back, and that's the thing you've kind of got to adapt to. You know, your old ways of being and your old life. And I've had to do that a lot. Um, and then you think, well, you know, what is the significance of what you've just done? Is there any? You don't save lives. I don't know what you do, really. You entertain, I suppose, and that's a good thing. I think the two standout highlights for me in the journey was, first of all, Baja California, when I was off-road alone in a very deserted desert environment having to rely very much on the bike and its robustness and its off-road friendliness to get me to where I needed to get to was fantastic and secondly the vistas of the southern Peruvian coastline just right alongside the Pacific Ocean was absolutely breathtaking. Music